Oh, you again. Wait, what? The Imperator, you say? To research the purity of souls. Those were the... The purity of a soul is a matter of no little interest. I shall see... Indeed. There is no time to waste. Phantom, teleport me. Kokonoe, my dear. How long has it been? Really, it's Clover? Impossible. You're... You're supposed to be dead! You needn't look so fierce. I come bearing a simple request. Oh yeah? I've got one for you too. Why don't you go f Had I any other options, I wouldn't be here. But alas, I stand before you, proverbial hat in hand, pleading for help in the name of science. What you do is hardly science, and even less sane. But damn it to hell, Relius. Now you got me curious. Though the last time we humored a request of yours, we all paid the goddamn piper. See, Kokonoe? Isn't civilized discourse far more pleasant? Now, if memory serves, you once had a machine that could exchange two souls, yes? Is it still in your possession? I'm just gonna gloss over that other part, huh? Classy. Yeah, I still have it. What's it to you? Creating the perfect doll has long been my goal, but I fear I've been overlooking one integral detail. Go on. I'm listening. One cannot discount the hardware, of course. The better the hardware, the better the end result. But I've neglected the spark which animates it. They're called souls. Way fewer syllables. Fine. Souls. I've overlooked the fact that a soul's purity diminishes when transplanted into a new vessel. In other words, they start to degrade. But, as I've discovered, the extent to which this happens depends in large part on compatibility. If you place an ice cube in a heated bowl, it melts right away. Such is the case with a soul and a body at odds with each other. An interesting theory you've got there, Relius. Without a thoroughly top-notch soul, any doll you fashion is doomed to be second-rate. But this is, alas, just a theory. We should test its merits right away, Kokonoe. I'm intrigued, as much as I hate to admit it. What the hell? Let's get cracking. Hop into the machine, Relius. I beg your pardon? Time to put your money where your mouth is, theory boy. Besides, we're gonna need subjects to test your idea, right? Then why don't you... Keep dreaming. Hmm. Ah! I've been struck with inspiration! Prepare the device, Kokonoe. I shall return shortly. Huh? Let us begin, shall we? Where do you want to start? I think our first test should involve two subjects who are likely to have compatible souls. Makes sense. Like two members of the same family. Yeah. Like two brothers. Ragna the Blood Edge and Jin Kisaragi. Let's show them in. Shall we? Oof! Ow! Everything goes dark and I face plant into a cage? What the F is this nonsense? Brother? Am... am I really in the same cage as you? Of course! It all makes sense now! This is what you wanted, isn't it? The hell I did, freak! And you! You want to explain why we're in this damn cage? Let us out of- Scratch that. Let me out of here, now! Let you out? But then you'd miss the once-in-a-lifetime chance to be the guinea pigs whose sacrifices changed the world! You should be honored! All right. Let her rip! Guinea pigs? Hey! Don't you dare press that button, you ba- I wonder if it worked. What? What the hell do you think you're doing? Huh? My voice sounds funny, and... And why are my clothes so confining, and... Wait, these aren't... Aw, oh, son of a bitch! Is... Is this... Brother's body? 
Oh, brother! Brother! No! Hand check, Jin! Hand check this instant! You freaky! Finally, I'm where I've always wanted to be. Inside brother's body! <laughs> it's like a dream come true! This isn't real, nope! I'm dreaming, and I'm gonna wake up, yeah? Somebody pinch me! Damn it, Jin, not you! What's the verdict, Relius? Their compatibilities are 83% and 60% respectively. Not what I was hoping. Seems they're less suited for each other's souls than I'd anticipated. Ragna's body wasn't digging Jin's soul too much. Maybe we should ease into things with a soul that's not entirely human. Good idea! Bring in Makoto Nania! One squirrel girl, coming up! Eek! Ow! I landed on my tail! Huh? Where am I? <laughs> Brother! Cross your fingers. H huh? Did you steal my boobs, Kokonoe? And my butt feels all incomplete. Where's my tail? B -b -b I was finally inside, brother. Why'd you have to evict me? That's it. Now I have to kill him. If I can't have Ragnar, nobody will! Oh, now, just chill out, Jin. I think you've done enough inappropriate touching for one day. Don't worry, brother. I'll die of despair the moment you're dead. And we can be nice and cozy in the afterlife. <laughs> Why is my body standing in front of me talking about killing me? I didn't sign on for this, you guys. How'd we do, Relius? Compatibility is... Hmm... 72% and 45%, respectively. I think it was a mistake putting these brothers in the same room, let alone having them body swap. Let's up the ante, yeah, for science! You just gonna leave us all scrambled? Experimentation ho! How about Hazama and Tao Kaka? Ooh, ballsy. I dig it. I'm in a cage, huh? Weird. Not that I don't deserve it a hundred times over. And... Be I've got high hopes for these two. Coconut, what'd you do to my pants? I'm feeling an updraft, you kinky scientist, you! Wait, what? Huh? This isn't Tao's body! Tao's body is curvy and adorable! Who stuck Tao in a hipster? Meow! This is weird. Cause there's Tao, but I'm Tao! But you're Tao! Did I catnip too much catnip? Hey! Stop pulling at my clothes, you stupid cat! No! Don't lick them either! Tao would never say that, cause she's adorable and friendly and a fan favorite. Don't break character, hipster person! This... this is kind of freaking me out. Yeah, they really need to be in their own bodies to sound right. <gasps> Brother... Oh! Howdy, good guy! What are you doing here, Meow? How are the numbers looking? Sustaining at 89% and 33% respectively. I did not think anybody could handle Hazama's soul, let alone a little replica. Bravo, kitten. Satisfied yet? Not quite yet. I think these numbers could be improved upon. Let's try one more pair. And for our final trick, I nominate Rachel Alucard and Bang Shishigami! Creepy. Mind-bending, I like it! Gracious. What? What is going on here? Uh. And... Whatever are you trying to do? I feel as though someone has shoved me out of my body, and rather rudely at that. There... there are two of me! And this new soft-spoken me is terrifyingly tall! 
Ye gods, man, you're a colossus! What is the meaning of this? A mere 67%? This scruffy body! This braying voice! How dare you insult me in such base fashion! To think that I die now after all these long years, felled by shame! Wait a second! No, no, let me die. Do maintain my body as a living memorial to my memory, though, if you'd be so kind. Look, I'm not even trying to be chivalrous for once! That's my body you're about to kill! Brother, let's die together in each other's arms! Yes, yes! Ah! Jeez, and I thought my family was nuts! Jin! Stop making all these horrible plans for my body, goddammit! These guys sure are rowdy, meow! Tal's gonna find some tasty sunshine and take a nap! Hey, you amoral eggheads! Put us back in our own bodies already! It seems they want everything the way it was. Bunch of killjoys. Your call, Relius. I still have so much to learn. My research must continue unabated.